dispatching four reporters as we speak right now on a nonstop flight from Austin, Texas to Marietta, California, where the federal government has openly announced they're dispatching riot police to go after the terrorist, uh, a.k.a. the American people, that would dare stand there as homeland security, as I've always said, designed to implode our sovereignty, buses the illegals in, and then signs them up for welfare. CNN is saying it is racist to say the word illegal. Really, if I try to move to Brazil or Nigeria or Japan, they call me an illegal. What's the point of even having a country and paying taxes if anyone that wants to come here can and is instantly legalized? But the establishment, just in plain view, acts like anyone who isn't brain dead is an extremist, is, is out of control. The truth is there's a large subsection of the Hispanic immigrants, that's the majority, out of Latin America, over 80% coming to this country, who were hardcore anti-white, anti-black racist. Now, that's just on record. There's also a large subsection, a large minority of whites and blacks uh, that do not like Hispanics. This is just tribalism. In poor black neighborhoods all over the country, blacks' population is not going up. It's, it's staying the same because more than half the blacks get uh, aborted. They're being pushed out by Hispanic immigrants. So that's where the real clash at a sociological level is going on. When we're talking facts here. My issue with the giant flood of immigrants is not what color their skin is. If we had a giant third world country of black people or white people to our south who called themselves the race and who hated everyone else who was not in the Raza and who literally, and again, I have this clip. I asked you guys a few weeks ago. We can't find it here. Call Steve Mason. Bound knows him well, works with him. I've known him for 15 years, 16 years. That's not true, 19 years. He has all the clips. He need to get him down here right now because he has the Texas Frontline Show with the former mayor on his last day in office because what's old is new, folks. This is bombshell stuff saying that Hispanics are not the master race, are the God race descended from aliens, Gus Garcia. And he said if they didn't legalize all the illegals, he was going to move to Mexico. And last time I heard, I think he did. Now, most people saying all Europeans need to leave and whites are the devil... They're actually trying to move wherever European civilization is at. So, I mean, I'm just telling the truth here about all this, ladies and gentlemen. The only kosher group to act like flaming, out-of-control racist is Hispanics. And most Hispanics are not like that and are wonderful people. But there's a large minority that's bullying everyone. And any Hispanic you talk to, American, will tell you this, that you better join the Raza. Kind of like the Klan would bully whites to join the Klan or at least give it tacit approval. And that's all it is. And we have clips of this. Viva la Raza, go back to Europe. Uh, whites and Mayatas. Crackers and Mayatas. You know, these are the clips that, that, that we have. And I've done a lot of reports, but we got so many reports, I can't even keep track of it all. Uh, so Steve Mason needs to be down here two weeks ago. Because he has every clip under the known sun and moon. And he's waiting to bring it all. I mean, the most hardcore stuff. He's got more than Glenn Spencer's got, you know, playing it over the phone line. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. Celebrate the spirit of 1776 with the George Washington brass belt buckle or this incredibly sharp looking 1776 hat. Badass.
And be sure to check out the new arrivals at InfoWars Life, where you can prepare your body to perform at peak levels with Survival Shield, Nascent Iodine, Super Male Vitality, and Fluoride Shield. And wake up, America. Immune Support Blend is the healthy choice for the gourmet coffee lover. So get incredibly high-quality, freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. We have the best-selling author, James Rickards. He's the best-selling author of Currency Wars. He has a new book out, The Death of Money, The Coming Collapse of the International Monetary System. I couldn't think of a better time to get him on. I've been trying for months. Because right now, you're seeing an accelerated move towards the exits all over the world away from the dollar. And I want to explain what that will do as the planet exits the dollar. He also was a witness, as was Max Kaiser, but even more of a witness. Kaiser witnessed it in a sub company and saw the CIA connected companies insider trading the day before and the day of 9 11. And that even came out in German and British papers. Rickards actually saw it happen with the very people doing it. And the, and the information he has that he's willing to disclose here, that he's never disclosed all of it, is the kind of stuff gets you killed. And you know, I say that about guests sometimes, they end up dead. Like the DC madam and others. I mean, I know what will get you killed. This is bombshell Pulitzer Prize top stuff you're going to be hearing. And I've got gigantic huevos to even bring you this information. And it's beyond that, ladies and gentlemen. I will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, God. Because I'm committed to fighting this tyranny because I realize there's no way out but resisting it. Again, I want to thank you all for joining us on this live Monday edition. If, if the establishment is able to dissolve our border and get away with the detonation phase that they're carrying out right now, just letting the world know if you can get here, you're going to be put on welfare and given a voter ID card and a driver's license and will be a protected political class above the law. If the current detonation phase is successful, if they're able to ignite this warehouse of dynamite, all the fireworks you're seeing right now is the fuse pss, burning. If it ignites, the tens of thousands every few days that are pouring in across the country, conservatively, according to the Border Patrol, and being instantly legalized with whatever fake IDs they've got, that's their new identity. It will be a permanent political underclass that can be used and abused and used as a political scapegoat to bring in a total police state. There are so many angles to this, it makes the head spin. If they're able to detonate, like the primer in the back of a 30 odd six or 308 cartridge, if the hammer that's dropping right now hits the pin and drives it into that primer, and if it detonates properly and ignites the powder in that shell casing, it will fire a high-velocity rifle round right through the heart at point-blank range of the sovereignty that's left of this ragtag, collapsing country. And quite frankly, Obamacare was a 308 shot right to the head. Shutting off the power plants, 308 shot right to the head. It's kind of like Sonny and the Godfather. Were they filling full of 100 holes? That's pretty much what this is. I mean, they're just, they've just got us up against a wall, just firing right into the country. And the country's bleeding out in front of everybody right now. Making our military serve on average seven combat tours. Making men with their feet blown off, put prosthesis on, and order them back into combat.
That's like driving a million miles on a pair of tires, knowing they're going to blow up. They have defecated all over our military. They have defecated all over the dollar. The globalists are literally waging total war at the siege economic cultural level. I mean, my God, folks, they teach kids two plus two equals five. They go on MSNBC and say, your kids don't belong to you. CNN has come out, and I have the article right here, the I word is un-American and equivalent to the N word. This is the total hospitality and the cult-like political correctness that the system thinks the public is under, that we can be lectured by an army of Rachel Maddow clones, like Sally Cohn, to do what no country has ever done before. Not just open your borders. They pay you when you get here. This is national suicide with a bunch of arrogant gang member, mafia manager level Hispanics who feed. I mean, repeatedly, they've caught city council and other people's brothers in Austin, where I live, running literal basements full of slaves. Look it up. It's been in the news. Hispanics that they are just sucking money out of their families once they get them up here as illegals, beating them with baseball bats and stuff if they don't pay them more money. I mean, the truth is there's a big gangster El Jefe culture that, that fits in with the globalist banksters that has been abusing Mexico for a hundred years. And, and so the United States and the average dumb white person who can't find their butt with both hands and who's totally guilty and hates the fact that they're white has no idea what's going on, is being blamed for all the stuff going on in Latin America. And there's a lot of reasons it's so hellish down there when it could be a paradise. But one of the biggest issues is the big mega banks have been down there and the gunboat diplomacy and the rest of it, keeping a corrupt kleptocracy in charge of all those countries so they were more easily manageable. Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala, Mexico. Not, um, not the American people, but the globalist technocrats that are dominating the whole world have been doing to Mexico what they're now getting ready to do to us. So, so understand, it's not just sitting here saying, oh, Mexico's a bunch of idiots. Oh, Mexico's failed. Oh, Mexico's bankrupt. Oh, my God, how embarrassing it is. You know, if you're from Mexico, we're going to go that same path, folks. <clears throat> Argentina was the richest country in the Western Hemisphere, more than the United States until about 1920. Look it up. Now they're one of the poorest because they went under a political system of fraud and, and, and they went the same direction we're going. And the globalists are on record wanting a giant poor underclass. Look, the, the poor Hispanic underclass pouring in is not going to get free welfare and goodies forever. They're going to be a permanent poor class that is basically kicked around and used and controlled. And that's what the Robert Rodriguez's and the Gus Garcia's. I'm talking about people I know in Austin, Texas. That's who these people are. Big, rich, off the system, fat establishment folks that literally manage the Hispanic market. And they give you a Mexican flag and they give you some machismo and they give you some uh, flash uh, with bravada. But at the end of the day, it's all a Ford Foundation declassified CIA program from 1958. I made a film, Battle for the Republic, breaking it down. It's an extra on Endgame, all on record. And I can have sociologists, anthropologists on like Hamamoto, who is from the Rockefeller Ford Foundation system. He, he will tell you that. This is not my opinion. It is a fact that they want divide and conquer. It is a fact, as I told you, they get rid of national borders, but create super borders and then sub-ethnic states within the old super region, within the old national region. This is about the end of the middle class, the end of a ladder up, the end of prosperity. And again, it is totally illegal on record to bring illegals in, put them on welfare, give them IDs, let them vote. And then if you catch a citizen handing out 
fake IDs, it's serious federal prison time because the feds want the monopoly on handing all of this out. And Daniel Estelin, who's Spanish and lived all over the world, eight years ago in Endgame, breaks it all down from his Bilderberg contacts, saying the plan is to bring the illegals in and break the country up because he has the Bilderberg contact. But we're way past that now. General Petraeus, Nancy Pelosi, all of them admit this is a plan for a North American Union where there's a giant underclass fighting with each other over diminishing resources with the energy prices going up to implode everything and to use the giant black market Hispanic class as a black market for the elite and the Democratic Party like they used Akron as a money laundering operation and a child sex trade operation. I mean, you could walk into Akron and say, I have children for the sex slave trade from Mexico. We're here to run them through your operation. And they're like, hell yeah, let's run a black op. I mean, what do you think these people are? Hardcore mafia, ladies and gentlemen. They run criminal operations in the cities. They are exporting the worst of Latin American corruption to take over and to be the functionaries. In the 40s, they brought 36,000, 35,000 Nazis over here to run everything. Now, Hamamoto says, and he's worked for the system, that they're bringing in corrupt people from Latin America to man the system. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. talking point being put out by state-run media and the White House is be loving Latin America is a hellish place and you need to be sweet to all these people that are there let them in give them driver's license let them vote they're such good people but we have a clip uh, that uh, Rob do found that we're gonna play on the show of uh, Governor Brown back when he was governor the first time he didn't want Vietnamese immigrants there coming out of Vietnam for political persecution. And why? Because 90 plus percent of them vote conservative because they've been under the communist boot. Don't want Vietnamese because they look at the demographics. They want Latin Americans who've been taught for 60 something years, communism and being anti-American is how you fix things. Every time they have a revolution down there to get out from some, under some fascist right-wing pig, who isn't even right-wing, they just call themselves that, some general or some dictator, it's always communism is the answer. So the globalists love that if you read Carol Quigley's book, Tragedy and Hope, that was an elite State Department CIA primer that wasn't meant to be republished, that we sell, by the way, 1,100 pages. I've read almost the whole thing. I skipped some parts of it. And he, he explains, we want fascism, we want communism, we want uh, racist, uh, race-based regimes, religious-based regimes. We do not want stable, truly liberal regimes. So to control that, we've got to pose as liberals and take over the liberal movement. And what do they do all over the Middle East and Africa? you got a stable, secular government? We're going to blow your government up and hire your neighbors to invade or hire Muslims to attack. Look at what they're doing in the Middle East right now, causing a sectarian Shiite-Sunni war. The Al-Qaeda-run ISIS forces are blowing up mosques all over Iraq to get the Shiites in a civil war. They're doing it under orders. If they wanted to win, they would be nice to the Shiites. They're not even Sunnis, ladies and gentlemen. They are globalist run to cause the clash of civilizations, just like the open borders are. I'm not anti-Muslim, I'm anti-globalist, radicalizing them and using Saudi Arabian radicals to destabilize the world. And I'm not against the poor Latin Americans. I look at Latin American children and I have as much care for them as black children or white children. I try to stop them being aborted. Ask Robert Rodriguez why he doesn't protest Hispanics being aborted if he's such a, such a man of the Raza. Or, or while these Democratic Party groups want to push Gardasil on Hispanic children. Mark my words, you take that shot, you're not going to have kids. And I said that 10 years ago during the trials, and now it's confirmed it attacks your ovaries.
That's because I hate Hispanics, obviously. I don't want them being aborted. See how crazy that is? But what I don't like is a giant army of racist Hispanics being brought up here, literally who have, don't have third grade educations with tuberculosis and scabies and cholera. I mean, that's what's coming in, folks. I won't go to Latin America. My mother begs my dad to not go down there on aid missions to some of the worst places in South America because of all the shots and stuff he's got to take that make him sick. I mean, I won't go report from South America because it's that scary unless you go stay in a five-star hotel and don't leave or stay on the resort. And I don't want to do that. You know how scary Latin America is? You know how scary Africa is? There's a phenomenon of racist American blacks, you know, the type that buy into Al Sharpton and the rest of it, because I've talked to some black professors on and off record, of when they go to Africa, it changes their views real fast. Again, ladies and gentlemen, and the globalists want to collapse North America. They only want civilization in Luxembourg, Switzerland, London, and a few other areas. There it is, Mexico to give HPV vaccine to all girls in 2012. And they lie and say it's the law, just like here it's not the law. The president just ordered it, like he's a dictator. <sighs> this is incredible. Makes me sick. We should be trying to get Mexico free. We should be trying to kick out the elites down there. But no, no, instead the big banks work with them. Let's go to the clip of the, I mean, when you go to Southern California, we've got the videos, you name it of images of white people's heads cut off, and we're going to kill you, go back to Europe, all the rest of it. Uh, and we're going to put together a video showing all this from the past. It's in my film, Battle for the Republic. We should re-air that tonight on the Nightly News after the news ends. Calling for the Raza. Race, 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 race. Imagine whites or blacks. If they went out to events and said, race, 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 we are the race. And what is the La Raza slogan? For those inside the race, everything. For those outside the race, nothing. That's official. You'll never hear that on CNN because they want to use race to create balkanization and division. You are watching the best of the Alex Jones Show. Weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at Infowars.com forward slash show or become a member of Infowarsnews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.